Hello Internet, this is Scott with Scott's Garage. And in this video, I will be taking out of the box the famous purple uh, HVLP high volume low pressure spray gun sold at Harbor Freight. Uh, this, uh, this is the, the famous gun. Uh, it is the uh, 40 PSI uh, 6 uh, CFM. And it, uh, it holds uh, 20 uh, fluid ounces. Um, I have a, an older version of this uh, same gun. Um, I've had this for at least 15 years. I've spray, sprayed many vehicles with it, and it's just been a, a workhorse. Um, what this gun, however, does not do well is spray primer. Uh, the primer is this thick, and it just uh, the nozzle is only 1.4 millimeter. And so um, what I'm going to do is modify this gun. This is going to be going to become my my primer gun. I also might try spraying some some basic enamel uh, with it for some other projects. We'll see how that goes. Um, but for now, I'm going to take it out of the box and I'll show you how to make this modification. Oh, by the way, um, I purchased this for less than 10 bucks uh, with a coupon this week at Harbor Freight. And I'm pretty sure that I spent 10 bucks 15 years ago when I purchased that one. So out of the box, first thing we see is the 20 ounce uh, reservoir. It's good to see a clean uh, reservoir. Now here's the gun itself. Looks like the purple is a little bit brighter uh, than the old gun. It's hard to do this with one hand. Take it out of the plastic. Okay, uh, there we go. So, slightly different from the original gun, but overall you know, it's the, the same. So what we're going to do for this modification is we're going to take off the air cap right here and that just, uh, it just comes right off, just screw it off. And then we're going to use uh, a drill bit and this uh, drill bit is a 5 64ths. And this little bit here, 5 64ths, is equivalent to 2 millimeter. So I want that hole to be uh, 2 millimeter. So let me take the cap off. Okay, it's kind of hard to do it with one, one hand here, but bear with me. Okay, now we can see the black thing is the fluid tip. And as I pull the trigger, you can see that the needle retracts. And right there, you can see in the center there, that's the, the hole. It's 1.4 millimeter. That's what comes standard. And we're going to drill it out so that it reaches uh, 2 millimeters. And we don't want it much more than that. You don't want to over drill it. Um, but uh, it should work fine and work really good for thicker paint. Okay, I noticed that uh, this uh, new kit didn't come with a, a wrench. So this is my old wrench that came from the, the old gun. Uh, but it still fits. And... Um, it looks like the, the, the fluid tip is, is pretty tight on there. So I'm actually taking off the entire assembly, which I don't mind at all. I think it'll actually be better. So again, it's kind of hard to do it with, uh, with one hand, but um, you put the camera down. Okay, there it is. That's be a, a nice way to, to hold this. And I'm going to take, the again, the, the drill. It's a very nice uh, DeWalt drill. And the... 5 uh, 64 uh, little bit there, and I'm just going to drill uh, straight through. Okay, there it is. I drilled out to Five uh, sixty-fourths, and that should be uh, two millimeters. I'm also going to take the opportunity with this apart to uh, clean the gun. Uh, it, it comes with uh, just uh, when if, uh, when they manufacture the gun, uh, the silicon or something. But uh, there's just uh, some parts there that's going to take some soapy water and and uh, clean thoroughly. Uh, I'll use the little brush that that came with it, and we'll have a nice. Um, clean gun. I'll probably also just uh, back this out and the needle will come all the way out and just I'll have a clean gun uh, to begin with. Alrighty, I have all the parts cleaned up. I put everything back together. 
It's no longer a 1.4, it's a 2 millimeter. Pull the trigger back and the, the needle retracts. I'll let go and it goes back in place. I can hardly wait to try this out on some thicker paint like primer. Again, this is Scott with Scott's Garage. I hope you liked the video. If you did, please hit like. It doesn't cost you anything, but is of great value to me. Also, if you have not subscribed to Scott's Garage, please do so. Also hit the bell notification for upcoming videos. We'll see you in the next video. Have a great day. Mm -hmm.